Okay, we got another integral here from MIT 2011, problem 17. We have the integral of dx over 2 plus ex. Yeah, and I think this one's going to go really fast, so let's fix this plus sign. Typically when I have an integral like this, I'm actually looking for a u substitution. The key to that is having, is we know the derivative of e to the x, or if it was e to the minus x, is just e to the x. Well, really what I want to happen is I want that in the numerator. And we don't have that here, so that's really our only problem. But we can create that if I just multiply it. Instead of e to the x, I'm going to multiply by e to the minus x. The reason I do that is that's going to cancel here. So let's just see what happens when we multiply this out. So in the numerator, we're going to have e to the minus x dx. And then in the denominator, we're going to have 2e minus x. This term here multiplied becomes 1. I chose the e to the minus x here because we don't want two exponential terms in the denominator. Just one is going to work out nice for our u substitution. So what I'll do is I'll make my u this whole denominator. So I'm going to call u equal to 2 e minus x plus 1. And then we'll take our derivative. What's our derivative going to be? So the derivative, so for du, we're going to have um, 2e minus x, but then we're going to need to pull this minus out here. Derivative of 1, 0, and we're just going to need a dx. And then just notice that our numerator is really close to our du value. I'm just going to make it convenient and type in a, well, I didn't type it, I actually drew it, but multiply a minus 1 half in front so that we're just multiplying by 1. Then we'll make the substitution, we'll have our minus 1 half out front, du in the numerator. This bottom part, the denominator is just going to be u. And that's perfect because this is going to be natural log of u. So we're going to have minus 1 half, natural log, absolute value. And I think what I'll do is just back substitute in one step. So we'll just write in our u right away. So here we're going to have 2e minus x plus 1, absolute value plus c. And that's it. Okay, so quick and easy problem today. We'll stop it there. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.